Heyman brings it down. Milivojevic plays it out wide for Flannery. Bursting into the box is Jackson. Low cross. Heyman first time shot. Bounces over the top. And we have a goal inside one minute. What a start for Canberra United. 52 seconds on the clock as the ball hit the back of the net. And Canberra, the visitors, have come out firing. It was a lovely one-touch play between Heyman and Milivojevic. The cross coming in from Flannery on the right. And when someone with the pedigree, the calibre of Michelle Heyman is all alone inside the penalty box, there is only ever going to be one result. I want to swing in from the right by Eunice to the back post. And we are back on level terms. And it only took three minutes. Great response by the home side. Well, it took 97 minutes to get a couple of goals on Saturday. It's only taken three and a half to reach that mark tonight. Holly Caspers on the end of the corner from Eunice. Find herself unmarked on the six yard box. And Ila Joski doing her best to try and keep it out of the goal. And just settling down quite nicely after the frenetic start. Eunice laying it off for Harris. This might fall for Caspers, looking for number two to the back post, and it's bundled in. Ella Buchanan, beautifully disguised in the end by Caspers, thought she was going to go for the shot herself, laid it across the face of goal, and Ella Buchanan on the end of it. We take another look. Ball went through Alex McKenzie. And you are not going to get an easier maiden goal in the Liberty A-League than that for Ella Buchanan. Go quickly here, the Wanderers. Edge of the box. And the header. Madison McComiskey. On the end of a pinpoint cross. And the Wanderers have their third. She gets her first Liberty A-League goal as well. Caught Canberra napping at the corner. Lovely delivery. And McComiskey between Michelle Heyman and Sarah Clark finding enough space and just guides the header inside the far post. Eventually the Wanderers come away with it. Chasari. Now Eunice. Rue on the overlap. This time forward for Morris. Early ball to the back post and that's come off the defender. Mastrovich needed to be awake. It was Alex McKenzie, the unfortunate defender. Great reflex save by Coco Mastrovic. Needed a bit more on that pass. Canberra win the turnover. Heyman feeds Milivojevic. Dragged a little bit wide. And just leaning as she got the shot away. Fortunately for fans of the red and black, Canberra unable to make the most of the chance. So, change there. Ruby Nathan on in place of Alex McKenzie. So, a 17th appearance for the young Kiwi, Ruby Nathan. An attacking move by the visitors. And certainly with a two-goal deficit. It's a good change to make. But it is the Wanderers in early. Caspers rolls it past the keeper. And with 16 seconds on the clock this time to start the second half, the Wanderers have scored their fourth. And Caspers has a double. Incredible start to this game. A hopeful ball forward, an error at the back again by Canberra. And Caspers waited and waited. Waited for Mestarovic to come out. Just calmly rolls it to the near post. Nearly brought under control well by Malia Morris. She wins it back, does the American. Just lifts the shot over the crossbar. A mistake from Clark this time. In a very dangerous position. Into the area once more now. Canberra United, the shot and a diving save by Sham Kamis. Guides it away from goal and out for the throw. Hasn't had a lot of work to do tonight, Sham Kamis. In fact, that might well be her first save of the night. Shaping to shoot. Thinks better of it. Flannery is available on the right 
First time cross to the back post. Heyman, good connection. But it takes a touch off the defender. And behind for the corner. Just holding it play beautifully. And a nice switch over to Matos. First time cross to the front post was Morris. And it looked like it went over her head. So thumbs up all round from the Wanderers. Messi, strong run in midfield. Decent contact on the shot from Breyer. Mestorovic has certainly been the busier of the two keepers tonight. Mestorovic wasn't all too convincing with the punch. Harrison swings it back in. McComiskey and then Bruce. And somehow from all of three yards out, that has gone over the goal.